What's good YouTube, it's Wanya from Epic CW, and we're here for another GTA 5 track build. Uh, now this one's pretty interesting. Uh, this track here that I have on your screen right now is a track that I made uh, a while ago. I think it was right before, I think it was the last track that I made before we switched over to the PS5. But, um... I made a couple of different iterations of this track so far. Uh, I believe one that is the base layout where it goes around here, around this inside bit. You turn in, as you see here. You go around. You go around again. And then here, you'd go around this U-turn. And then there used to be a track that connected over to here. Um, however, I took that part out, I modified it a little bit, and uh, now we have the second version where we have this infield area where the, this part's actually used, where in the first version, it just went around this corner and then straight and then through. So you didn't have this extra part here, um, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but what I was going to do today was I was actually going to take... Um, my recent change which is this here um, I'm going to take Arma Raceway 2 and turn it into Arma Road Course so what I was going to do with that how I was going to do that is I was actually going to delete this here and I was going to put I don't even know if this is going to fit but we're going to try oh, I don't want to do that Okay. Oh yeah, this could fit. That's good. So we have the uh, little garage spaces here. I'm going to put that here. And I'm actually going to change the start location to be over here. So I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to move... Let's see. This over to here. That's perfect. So now this is the road course version. And what that essentially means is that I'm going to kind of have it so that when we start the race, you're going to have to make a sharp U-turn right into the infield. And you're not going to be driving on the actual outside of the track at all. It's kind of like a reverse track, which makes it interesting. And then you're going to file right back in uh, for the second lap. So the rest part of this track is not going to be used, which is kind of interesting because every single other race uses the outside of the track. And this inner um, bit that we're going to be using is the only time that the inner part of the track has ever been used. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's going to be a cool little change. And let's see if we can do something like that. That looks good. I just want to make sure that it's not like doing that. Okay, this will be able to work. So we'll put that down. Next, we're going to put the starting checkpoints down. It's not going to be a 30-player race because... Or, uh, I mean, it could be. Oh, 
uh, when I have to place the trigger like this. Can I get first person, please? Thank you. Here we go. So I don't think I'm going to use the outside of the track, but for starting players, just so we have 30 people on the track, I think I'm actually going to use that, the strip here. So it'll be a little cool thing. You're not actually going to drive on this part of the track here. But when you come back around, you'll kind of skip and do a little chicane and then make a U-turn here coming back around. So we'll, you'll see how it all works in a minute. I'm not sure if I want to do track bend medium. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Fuck. God damn it. Ah, it's so annoying. That looks good. Fixed it. Just about fixed it. Alright, sweet. So now that we fixed that, props, uh, we're going to get out the U-turn piece. It's not going to work perfectly, so we're going to have to move it into position. Working some magic here. Now, this is going to be a very tight... Ooh. I don't like how that looks. It's going to be a very tight U-turn. This is what it's going to look like here. Let's put that down and test how that works. 
Ooh, very, very, very tight. Followed by another extremely tight U-turn. This is going to be what the track eventually is going to look like once all the checkpoints are placed down. Do a little cut through here. We'll cut through there. Oh, this is going to be a difficult track. Oh, and then right away that hairpin turn. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. All right, so. Placement, we'll go with props. Get out another short piece just to do that. To make it look like you can go out there, but you can't. Uh, barrier 45D. Also, I want to take this bit here as well. Make it so it's extremely punishing if you uh, overdrive into the corner here. there so we have it so it's punishing if you go past this part here oh my god dude are you being serious <sighs> okay that's so annoying dude That works. That will work. All right, so it's extremely punishing if you drive a little bit wide into this corner here. Um, but this is what the track's going to look like. It's going to be this intersection here. We start with 30 cars going down. Again, that punishing section. You go around back around around here and then come out a little chicane at the end here back onto the track so it's just going to be that small part on the inside there which is actually pretty interesting of a track so let's go ahead uh, I don't know if I want Do a chicane looking thing, or if that'll even work, let's test it out. Oh, yeah, that'll work.
I I believe that'll work. That will work perfect. All right, and props, we can get rid of the hairpin. And we can add a small little piece here. Might need like a five. Oh, why is it like this? That'll work, I guess. <laughs> the chicane right back on to the start line. Oh yeah, that was nice. And it's not easy track to drive on either. A lot of letting off on the gas, a lot of putting power down in the corners, a lot of cutting corners, a lot of shortcuts that you could possibly take. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, and the only thing left to do is to delete all the checkpoints. Actually, I think we can go all the way down to delete all checkpoints. And then we can do checkpoints here. Boom, put that down. We got 30 people now available to race. That's going to be that's going to be pretty strange not having the uh the checkpoint right there on the hairpin. It's definitely going to throw some people off. But that's for uh, people to figure out and not me. All right, I like to put hard, uh, hard. I like to put large checkpoints down because um, it gives you the ability to like drive in between here and cut through if you wanted to do that. And then hmm. I want to put the checkpoint here so it's possible to get here so you can still do the little shortcut and then if you wanted to here so that way you could also get this shortcut I believe I'll put one here there 
put a checkpoint here, put a checkpoint here. Now this corner you can cut significantly, but I don't want that much corner to be cut. I don't think you're going to be able to get that checkpoint, but if you can, that's on me, I guess. Um, actually, I want to put two checkpoints down. I'll put one here. And then one here. Nice. Alright, and since this is not Arma Raceway 2, this is Arma Road Course. We're going to change the name. Then we're going to change this. Um, we have modified it for your enjoyment. We have modified the inner course for your enjoyment. And that's all we're going to change on it. We're going to change the photo because it's a different spot on the track that we're racing. Gonna go over to ambient pedestrian or ambient uh, settings. On a road course, sweet. Placement lobby camera. We need one of those as well. Nice. Now we can test it. This is that really, really crazy uh, hairpin turn to start the race. Ugh. That's an example of how much we can cut checkpoints. Let's see if we can cut this one. We cannot cut it like that. Okay. I'm glad that I tested that out. Let's see if we can cut it this tight. We cannot cut that one that tight either. All right. Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's do an actual lap the track now. Damn, some of these corners are really hard to hit. This is a difficult track. One more lap around. So the hairpin turn at the start is not as complicated as I thought, but I know bozos are gonna drive off the track because of that. I would say more of the difficult part comes kind of when you hit this part of the track like that turns very difficult this part's pretty easy depending on which part you take but this part seems a little bit difficult as well I 
There it is. That's how you take it. The chicane area, that's pretty easy. I really like this track. It's a lot of on and off the throttle, but um, it feels very different from the other armor tracks. Uh, and every single armor track has a little bit of a difference. Uh, but this one, obviously starting in a different location and using up a different portion of the track, it feels it feels unique. It feels unique to the Arma series, and I'm glad to uh, add the new addition in there. And honestly, I'm glad to also do a video on YouTube for the Arma series because I've been working on a couple of different tracks for that, and it's a track that I like a lot, so glad I finally got it on YouTube. But either way, exit test. We're good to save it. Armor Road Course. Publish. And we're good. Um, I also took the liberty of modifying uh, what armor looked like. The kind of stadium inside. It used to look a lot different. It didn't have as many props. It didn't have this or this or this shark banner. It had some of them. Like this one was here. But I ran out of props because again I made this on the PS4. And that was before I had the option to use more props. So... When I went over to the PS5, which is right now, not right now, but earlier in the year, uh, I revisited making this track, obviously when I have more pieces, and um, I'm glad to be able to to kind of continue on and update the track as we go along, because it's definitely needed a modification to it. It was just kind of bare bones. Um, it, it was just the track, and that's it, and I'm glad it has kind of character now with all the buildings around, the signs, um, and even some unique kind of driving areas or driving sections in multiple different iterations of the track. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Um, this is what the track looks like from a little sky view. If you enjoyed and you want to see more um, GTA 5 content or just any content in general involving racing, Leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. This is Wanye from Epic CW, and I'm out. Peace.